it let's see we'll see fingers crossed i will um i think i'm going to text moto and let him know to please let everybody else know that we've moved over to a different stream yeah sorry everybody um yeah, hopefully this one works. Is this any better? Yeah, what do you think, Mini Fake Chick? I mean, from our end, seen th things Hi, seem insane okay. Lego fan. <laughs> How's it going? Okay. Orange bricks, hey again. Good. All right, good, everybody's coming. Hooray! Hi, everyone. Sorry about that. So were you... You were looking for that, right? When yeah, yeah, like okay, it's better. So are we, I don't know, are we in the same stream or a different stream? I have no idea what's yeah, going on right now, honestly. Is, I have no idea it's, what's happening. It's mystery day. Oh my happen. goodness, oh Hi, my Alyssa. goodness. Oh, I'm so glad. It seems like it looks good, better image quality, better audio, no buffering. We're back. Very good, all right. So, and I think we should just go right into that. Oh, you? right, and actually my, um, my thing, my, uh, Little keyboard has also decided not to work today. I know. So, wow. Oh, and I had—I just want to show you. I had to switch to two barrettes because right. this one holds <laughs> this up all right, but this side then like yeah, giant exactly. poop out. So it's got like oh, a, you got know, a whole so other here, thing going on. Here's some. Uh, uh, <laughs> if any of you know something that's really good. Maybe many fake chick knows, maybe any of you, um, for attaching ABS plastic to metal, especially metal that wants to flex a little when you open and close the barrette. The only thing I've seen is is epoxy, so we may do that. Any advice? What do you think? Anybody know anything? Yeah, because we, we want to make cool, you know, like, dots, barrettes. Basically. I know, I wanted to put a two by two round on Dots there and then barrettes. I could put like mini figs on it and all kind of stuff. Yeah, but it popped off. <laughs> we tried hot glue and that lasted, you know, until the hot glue dried, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was Wilfred all over. Wilfred says, soon your hair will be braided. I could do I, I, I could do tiny braids probably. on them right now. They'd be really, really little. I can, I actually can get like, like a total like nasty short like 1980s guy who works in an office ponytail yeah <laughs> really short one speaking of ponytails that makes me think of ponies which makes me think of yesterday's stream if you missed yesterday's stream and you're into lego i think you should go check it out, right? Yeah. How, if you, how if, fun was that? It was amazing. If you haven't seen the interview with Matthew, please go check it out because it was, um, you know. It was great. I, you know, as a fan, I um, was a huge fan of what was going on. I was gobsmacked at some of what he was saying. Um, so, oh, yes, Christopher says, have we talked to Jessica? She's doing all those bows. Yes, I'm not sure what she, I'm not quite sure oh, what she yeah. uses, and hers might be different. I'll have I to ask her. I don't know if we're going to be... Oh, I see yeah. what you're saying. Well, she, she might have a method that would be helpful. Yeah. Although I gotta say, I, I, as much as I love Jessica, I don't know if I'm a bow guy. Like I don't know if well, I could no. a bow. I could wear it as a tie. No, what um, they're asking about her, <laughs> yeah, about her method, the attachment method. So I was wondering whether like maybe silicone would be good, but mm -hmm. epoxy seems to be the answer. I don't know. Indeed. The stream was amazing. He was so nice, Marilyn Parmley says, and I completely agree. Yeah, what he a warm, is. wonderful person. And and so that's who's, you know, that's who's working with Amy and Jamie and Ilya and all them to make our cool stuff. Yeah, that's who made sure that we had a Lego poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It would not exist otherwise. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, I think we should go into um, sticker time. All right. Let's do it. Sticker time. I'm ready. All right. You got something to do. All right. Like yes. a graphic. Look. Oh, right. <laughs> and the keyboard doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. work. Oh, All right. Goodness. See? Here we go. We help each other out. <laughs> There we go. So what's going on today? If you hold that up to the camera, you're very distracted with the keyboard not working. No, yeah. Stream I'm and, actually and very distracted that. by everything today, so yeah. I apologize, everybody. I'm just, I am kind of all over the place. My brain is being pulled in a hundred different directions. Well, we're going to have some cool art to look at. Yeah, and time. then I won't, <laughs> you can stop right. looking at me. I, don't, we, I can just stop being. We can be there. audience members for cool art. So check it out. 
Um, this is from, uh, well, it's Lego sticker number 24389-613-2441. They always have really long numbers, and I didn't write the set number. It's from 2016. It's um, uh, 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 Nexo Knights Tri Motorcycle Dragster. It's called Macy's Thunder Mace. Yep. It, yep, it came with um, three figures, crew... Uh, um, what is it? Uh, something Smasher. Oh, Crust Smasher. Crust? What, what I think, or Crush Smasher. Crush Smasher, maybe. Something like that. He's the bad guy. And then Crust Macy. Smasher. Macy's our hero. He's the Nexo Knight. And then the Macy bot is like a little bot that looks like him. Oh, right. I remember that. Right? Remember you know, that. I didn't really get into Nexo Knights, but I love the whole sort of techno medieval combination. <laughs> and these stickers. See, now that was the part I, I think didn't like. Sci-fi. But well, I like the one. I like the parts. I thought it had really good parts. I, okay. I'm a. Cl- I'm. I gotta admit, I'm classic. Um, I like old school castle okay. stuff. Okay, so here's the thing. In our refrigerator, we we have friends that make amazing jams and jellies, right? Amazing canned stuff and they give it to us and we eat it and then you end up with this much in the bottom. Where are we and going with this? And then in another one you end up with this much in the bottom and then you have four. And it's like berries and other kinds of berries and plums and me myself i want to put them all in one jar and i say that's jelly right flynn he wants his knights and his techno to be separate right definitely medieval is one thing future is another don't mix them up so we just have two different approaches i'm okay with nexo knights That was a long way around that, wasn't it? Really. <laughs> um, okay, so... Skeleton, spider web. I know, I just, like, I... Beard. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So what else are I we mean, up to? We're going to actually well, you know, share the challenge. I, we? I, we actually um, we yeah. actually got a little request from our friend Tina. So our friend Tina... Oh, okay. Um, ...is amazing, and she kind of kicked us off on the Lego thing. We had just gotten our... Um, mm. Our X Men set, and I was planning on getting um, Richard a big tub of Lego for yeah. his birthday. But I also knew that Tina had an original castle set from the '80s, and please don't ask me which one because I don't know. But, but I we'll can know. find out. We'll know soon. Um, so we have it, and I, and all the I, figures, I have, and all the figures, and, and the, everything. The horses, everything, so the armor. I don't know if um, if it would be of interest to you, but Tina was saying, well, maybe you should put that together on your show one day. So maybe we will do the uh, classic '80s castle. I'd set. like to do it. It's got um, it has a working drawbridge. Yeah, but it has a drawbridge and guys and with horses cren- and crenellated ban- battlements. Yeah. Oh well, it seems like a very um, everybody. Everybody's into the Nexo Knights. I'm. Uh, I don't yeah. know anything about it, but we, we use. <laughs> we have a few of them. Here, look. It's um, in our. <coughs> I'm so sorry. This is kind of dusty because I haven't looked at it in a long time. But from our Treasure of the Snake Queen, it may not focus. But he's wearing Nexo Knights armor. He was our big, you know, barbarian battle guy. Barbarian and battle guy. So I like the Nexo Knight's armor. That would glow under blacklight, too. Oh, I'm seeing Can that. Let me show you my dust up close. <laughs> yeah, everybody, <laughs> take a look. <laughs> so I'm noticing here now that we. Uh, so um, uh, Bill was saying that the first video is already up as a stream, as a video. So I'm just going to get rid of that okay. real quick. Bye. Bye. That little bit of history um, is, is here. Or at least, you know what, I'll put it on to, I'll turn it as to private, and then that oh, way nobody will be able to see it. Then we can analyze the black box from that video and right? find out what happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's see, the hammer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. The hammer was fun. I was, at first, I was like, oh, it's really big. But we wanted all the characters. This was Flynn's plan, and I think it was really good. He wanted all of the characters to be immediately identifiable as different. So they all had different recognizable accessories, some were different heights. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, so little teeny figures going by, plus you're at, at that time, a convention, so there's like three feet to the banister. Um, Aubrey, coach. 
says, who was the elves mini doll? I don't think I have it. That is actually one that we amalgamated from a bunch of different ones. Um, oh, yeah. Do you um, want me to bring her back? Yeah. She I, was She, she was, was tough the to hardest put together. thing. She kept wanting to fly off and gum up the works. <laughs> She was the pro she was a diva. She was a bit of a diva. Well, she had a staff too. Normally, she has a tall staff with a crystal on it. Um, yeah. So she's just one that we kind of put together. Sorry about the focus there. Here, I'll see if I can get her. Here, can I do this? So the dip so the really hard part was getting all of the um, all of the matching hair for them because we had like six different versions. And my friend Drew gave me a bunch of these bodies with the dresses, and then um, we uh, we searched out like we just had the heads, and then we searched out the hair. That was hard, right? Yeah. Finding that. You know, the hardest one wasn't the hardest one. The the dwarf. Well, he, well, because he had the most rare parts. Well, look, he's got tattoos. Yeah. So it was. <laughs> He was like a, from a CMF, the Battle Dwarf CMF, I believe, and he has like little gauntlets and a tattoo, and we gave him. Yeah, it's interesting trying trying to do six matching of anything, uh, yeah. like minifigures, is surprisingly difficult. Yeah, and the um, that um, the thief disappeared. She is oh, stealthy, right? She disappeared deep into the model and we couldn't find her and we didn't have a replacement. It was we, so we embarrassing. Out. And then of course <laughs> after we bought a replacement um, you know, weeks later I found her like wedged in between two plates way down. Yeah. We looked everywhere. I emptied jumble bins. I looked it every box that we had in that entire part of the room because she flew off the um, yes. conveyor belt and I heard part of it, her hood hit the wall and we found that. So we knew she had gone far or yes. we thought she had. <laughs> but oh no. my goodness, try and find a minifigure in, you know, 30,000 yeah. parts that are laying around. Oh yeah, it was not, <laughs> it was not cute. And when it turned out that she'd like fallen off, so it was on one of the, um, conveyor belt and she had fallen off and then somehow gotten wedged on the inside like all the way down impossible to see from no, any angle couldn't. and we ended up having to take part of the wall off or something and yeah. I looked down and there she was like just kind of jammed in there and we had to use like giant tweezers to try to yeah. pull her out and didn't you um, didn't you go back to the store like hope beyond hope that they would have more sets well yeah because it was those that little blister pack set that had like the multiple minifigures in it and and we used a lot yeah, of pieces what from that. From? Um Nexo Knights. Yeah oh see she she was from Nexo Knights too. It was Nexo Knights. Um yeah, I, there's I one was thirty dollar set that's worth it, the Witch King. Oh, you're talking about the L O T R ones? Oh man, I would love that mm, Witch King yeah. is I don't think thirty dollars anymore, unfortunately. You mean so. more? Yes. Yeah. It's probably way more. Uh, okay, so gosh, well, wow, maybe we should fun. get started on our slideshow. Yeah, let's look at what people submitted. I made we made stuff too. We did make stuff too. It's true. Yeah, I was up until eleven last night finishing mine, and you know it's only like seven parts. But then I looked at it for three hours. Like, were they exactly in the right spot? <sighs> Right? I, I was think, like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> hey, the Google form worked. We're having growing pains with it. Yeah. Like downloading the photos from it. But all of the comments and names, thank you so much for taking the time to put that in. Because I could just click a button, and it was in a spreadsheet. And then I could say sort, and it was alphabetical. It was that was great. nice. It was just the getting the yeah. images off of it was, was, yeah. was, was yeah. the And the ones part. that were emailed were easy, too. I could just drop them into the Google Sheet. So either way worked really well. <laughs> All right, let's see. Slideshow, yes. Slideshow yeah, so you're going to need your email or something open. I'm going to need my email. I need happened. my glasses. You I'm have your glasses need... in your hand. I, yes, I'm going to, maybe I can pull it up maybe here. Maybe I need a butterfly net around here. What, to try and grab my attention? <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to put my watch on too, my only jewelry. Oh, my goodness. Okay, um, so what are we looking for? Your, I, see, I don't know where your phone it's is. It's on the, on the arm of the couch charging because my battery wears out in like three seconds. Oh, my it's goodness. It's absurd. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, let me see. I'm going to get this open. Right. Google prefer stream. Mysterious. Hey, you know what? I was um I was thinking or just thinking about was that uh 
next Friday when yes. we're going to be here. And I'm double checking just because I want to make sure. Yes, next Friday is our 10 year anniversary. Can you imagine? And we are going to spend part of it here with y'all uh, doing the new. Uh, Challenge. Hey, we'll share a um, you know we'll share a wedding photo with you. There's a fun wedding photo we can share with you. Oh yeah, absolutely. I forgot about that. Um, I think we're talking about the same one. The um, the one that Jim helped with. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's fun. Our wedding was all like all the the planner. We have all these like super arty arty friends, right? Mm -hmm. So um, from the planner to um, the florist to the you know baker to the you know bartender, everyone was all friends who made like crazy art um, it for was, it. It was fun. We like our wedding, but then who doesn't, right? <laughs> it, was <our> <laughs> it was our wedding. <laughs> Uh, okay. So you have a calendar up over there. I think I finally got the... I was just make, checking to make sure I was saying the right date. Because oh, for our anniversary, right. I always want to put it earlier. A wedding, an anniversary challenge. I don't want to... Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to make anybody do that. I mean, if you if you want to do that, that's great. But I don't want to put that out as a like a challenge theme. You can absolutely add it. Um, we'll come we'll come up with something. Oh, see, that's okay. So now ten. lots of people are saying a ten year anniversary challenge, and lots of people are signing on. Okay, well maybe we need to do that then. If you okay, but the pieces don't all have. They don't have to be about us. It can be about um, you know, I don't know. Anniversary, yeah. any anniversary that you've had, <laughs> right? Tenth or otherwise, right? Oh, no, I don't know. we'll we'll figure it out Birthdays, by the end. Birthdays, we'll we'll figure out a. Wait, is that no? Not today. Next Friday. No, next, next one. Friday. So um, that's not. We actually didn't figure out the new challenge yet. Yes, we did. Did we? Yes. What did we figure out? Oh yeah, it was a great one. We <laughs> we picked it out way last week. Yes. We, yeah, we knew this one in advance. It's good. But let's talk about this challenge first. Okay. Absolutely. All pieces ten years old. We'll let you maybe we, <laughs> maybe we should just make the theme ten and leave it at that. How about ten? I like that. We'll see. Uh okay. I'll, we are really gonna do this now. Like slideshow. With Dudley Moore, Bo Derek? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> like a hundred percent no on that. <laughs> It was on HBO forever. <laughs> forever, it's true. All right, there we go. So oh, that's right. I'm gonna have to be here controlling. I, this was up on our screen because it's the first one in the in the slideshow. It was up on our screen for the longest time, and I love the goth umbrella. Right? Yes. Like purple plate with spider web is awesome. I love that's how so this is fun. laid out. I gotta say. So I'm gonna be reading from up here because uh, it's it'll clear, make it easier. Right? Yes. Yeah, the Google Forms, yay Google Tools. Um, oh, it's not Logan Cookie time yet. Not not quite not yet. Not quite. Okay. We got a little. So a little bit. this is um, Aubrey, and Aubrey uh, says the t or the title or the the phrase it goes is when that one friend comes to the party. <laughs> I am that friend. You know what? I am it's... that friend too. <laughs> It's so fun. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's really. It's and what is that? That that's like some kooky bottle too. I like the green bottle there. Yes, and I love the. Um, well, I, those are those are favorites of mine. You know, I'm gonna move this up here so we can see it bigger. Oh yeah. You know how I look, like and to we're do still that. looking close to the camera. And then that's I can cool. look down here. The to hot read the tub thing. is fun. I want a hot tub surrounded by like giant <laughs> giant plants, plants and, and such and beautiful. <laughs> pine trees. <laughs> That's awesome. We have we have um, friends that have really cool landscaping in a hot tub up uh, in Northern California. Yes, right? and it's super fun. And emphasis in the woods. on the landscaping. He's amazing with plants. Yeah, Look at the dog too. Of course, how happy I love. Is that a friend's dog? I love that you can oh, put yeah, like, there, it's, stars or bows or butterflies on their heads. And of course, I love it that the friend who shows up is actually a minifigure and everybody else right. is a mini doll. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Isn't that 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 was your um, your sig fig um, shirt shirt for yes. the longest time? Right? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. You know, say so we were asking about a new tree piece. And funny enough, I actually used those tree pieces in mine. Um, and I, he's referring to the trunk of that um, the oh, umbrella. Oh, super flexible. It's a flexible, style, right? yeah. It's a flexible um, 
like palm, like a tree. palm tree. Yeah, it's really cool. So I'll show you. I'll show you it later um, on when I show mine. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna refill our coffee. That sounds great. All right, so this is this one's from Avernus Workshop. This is Sandman Family Day at the Beach. <laughs> Sandman creates a sand castle for his daughter and some shade for his wife. Even Spidey is hanging out having fun. Hopefully all the details are readable. Even splitting it up, I couldn't show everything in one image. <laughs> Shameless Instagram plug. Don't worry, everybody should go check it out. And hey, we'll do, um, I'm gonna do this because I can. And it's, it's a crazy, it's a crazy day today, so why not? Oh, careful, Flynn. This is very full. Okay. We're not going to spill coffee on the keyboard, even if it's not working. <laughs> so let's take a look at some details here. I'm just going to enlarge this because you know what? Oh, cool. Weebly. Yay. All let right. Let us know your Instagram. There you go. Um, okay, so there is there's Sandman coming out of the sand, and yeah, he's providing shade down here, and there's Spidey on a surfboard. This is That's so great. awesome. Um, and yeah, how, how the wonderful. low angle shot is great. How huge he looks. This is so great. And can we find you on Instagram under that name, Avernus Workshop? Is that what we're looking at? <gasps> hey, look, it's that net trick. The blanket is done. Oh, with that, yes. With the nut trick. Oh, I love that. That's so good. Yeah, yeah if you look the, at the, in the, the right hand photo, we've got, um, there's a little blank, yeah, the blanket that she's sitting on is done with so that little net trick. So it goes down the little we hill. The That's day. so nice. And I, and I love just the, the, the character reference and all is great. Like, it's just, it's very funny. Yeah, and the sandcastle is lovely too. So, excellent, nice, thank you so much, <laughs> this is so funny. All right, that is some serious um, uh, shenanigans in Seriously. the sun there. Sorry for all the moving around, folks, but yep. you know. We I always love those flags, the, you know, the curves there and cleanliness of them. Oh good, his Insta is the same. All right, here, I'm gonna I'm pop this back up again. What is going on there? Oh, it's Super Sewer Baby. Yes, this, of course, is from Brickanista. Yay! Um, the Super Baby Justice League has some time off, and the heroes are out for a cruise in the countryside in his in their tricked-out vehicles. <laughs> Super Sewer Baby has his pet rat, Vermi, by his side, and Batman is riding in the back of his Roto-Rooter rocket jeep. Super Stinky Baby drives his methane-powered <laughs> stink buggy. <laughs> And Super Tiny Baby cruises in his glitterad eye convertible oh while blasting the team's favorite hip hop tunes. Meanwhile, the janitor has converted his army of brushies into bushies and plots his next evil plan against the Super <laughs> Baby <laughs> Justice League. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't just do that. It actually says, insert evil laugh here. It says so I did right it. there in brackets. <laughs> well, I, there is so much story going on here. Yeah, we're going to enlarge super this up a little bit. Super Stinky Baby. So, Wait, okay, so which one is Super Stinky Baby? That's this this one in the back that has the smoke With the out. methane coming out yes. the back. And then, are those musical notes? Yeah, those are from the Trolls set. It says a uh, clef. Uh, and, uh, um, and a note. No, no, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm JMW music is probably sitting there going, you I, guys, really? Sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to pretend it's a quarter note, but I don't remember my music I'm theory. So, apologies, JMW music. I'm so sorry. You can actually, this is so embarrassing. You can read ukulele music, right? I, uh, yeah, I haven't in a long time, but yep. yes. Anyway. Oh my, oh goodness. my goodness! All the, right, the babies. Yeah, this is great. And I, and from what I understand, there is more. Um, there is more and more of these. Like, there's more super baby Justice League. Oh yeah, characters. Other that are people coming on up. the bandwagon. So this is great, Naomi. Thank you so much. This is so it's, good. Look what you have created. And I like. We're a fan of these photo uh, or um, textured paper backdrops. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, it's a really great story and a fun use of the plates and I love your yep. your Jeeps your all your vehicles are really great it's just um, a lot of nice work here what's the road <laughs> is that Lego road there is that like official road or did you make that 
I think that's one of those road plates, and then yeah. it's got the ground on the side. We got some tape, didn't um, we? Didn't we just get some some? Um, oh yeah, awesome some of that tape, tape. Some of that tape from Lego. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that at some point. Um, oh, Mythic Bricks says, "How do you submit moths for the stream?" There are two ways. There is yep. you can email it to us at Flynn at trickybricks dot com or. Uh, recently, with this last one, I set up a Google form, yeah. and as long as you have a Google account, you can actually go there, upload your photo and your description and everything. Yeah, uh, but if you don't have a Google account, you can um, just attach it to the email. Yeah. This is great. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, Corey Kinnick is here. How's it going, is, Corey? I, I, Good to see you. I almost wish, I don't know, you must be saving these photos. How fun would it be to have a combined, like, the anthology? Jason Seacrest, how's it going? Sorry, Jason Seacrest is here. We haven't seen you in so long. How's it going? Welcome Welcome back. How oh, great. I'm thinking, uh, wouldn't it be awesome to have um, an anthology of the, of the combined adventures of Super Of the sewer full baby. Super Sewer Baby oeuvre? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think maybe for our 100th show... There can be there could be a super sewer baby oeuvre um, slideshow. Slideshow that would be so fun. So Naomi, if you can collect all of them in and order, and the stories, um, and the stories, we will totally do a, a super sewer Wouldn't baby slideshow for our hundredth episode. Not I think to put you on the spot. Yes. Um, <laughs> Awesome. Oh, Corey Kinnick. Or maybe you said hi to... Hi, Corey. Yeah. Uh, while I was looking at the screen. Uh, Ellen, you can you can follow Super Sewer Baby on Instagram. It is absolutely true. All right. Here we go. da Oh, we have Whoa. another cool more one. This is... Gosh, the colors are beautiful on this Whoa. one. Whoa. Um, this is from Brickaroo Bonsai. And I will pull in closer so we can take a look. Oh, um, my goodness. So I call this build Darth Apocalypse Now, Locals <laughs> Only. <laughs> this build is rated PG-13. Also, I hope this is acceptable, but my build is 34 studs wide. It's, it's acceptable. Okay. Um, you added a frame around it. No problem. Um, I have uploaded two photos, but if you would like a more artistic version of the build, um, you, I have some uploaded on my Flickr page. Very cool. All right, here's the story. While staying at his beach house on planet Bricktopia, a planet with two suns, <laughs> Lord Vader and friends go for an early morning surf session, a.k.a. dawn patrol, at his private beach. Trespassers beware. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at this closer up, everybody. Well, I'm wondering how is the surfboard suspended in the wave? There must be a snot piece in there, right? Let's find out. Let's find out. I love the the curves on this wave are so beautiful. This is so great. Yeah, is it on a clip or I don't know how that how that surfboard is held up there. I'm not sure either, but that's pretty awesome. That's great. Um, wow, that backdrop is just so awesome. Yeah, it adds so much, and you can see what difference lighting makes here. Like the way um, there's lighting underneath that palm tree, right? Yep. Which makes it so you know much more Darth Vader y and and otherworldly. And so it looks like we've got. We've got Batgirl and Magneto, maybe? <laughs> no, no, no. I think that's the back of one of the Star Wars guys, right? Oh, I love this shot with Vader with his... This is my right favorite... Saber on the... <laughs> right? He's, sh- he's shredding. So, um, uh, uh, Brickaroo says it's a hinge brick. Okay, great. Perfect. Oh, and then look, is the is the trunk of the palm tree made with um with cheese wedges? And yeah, it looks like pieces. Travis bricks with That's cheese wedges. Great. That's so really texture. great. What a great tree. I trunk. love the lighting in this one and the angle is really great. I feel like oh it is Star Wars Imperial Guard. Uh that's so terrific. Yeah, and the way the wave just comes up from the sideways built floor is really that floor is sideways built, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, really some sophisticated techniques in here. Very. And the frame I think makes it so it always makes me think of like a museum piece, right? Like it should sit on a pedestal when it when it's framed in that way. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That's awesome. This is so great. Golly, you know I yeah. At some point, we should just do a, a video that's just all of the entries from all of the, the contests oh, that's we've cool. had so far. That would be fun. We can do that. All right. Let's see. Next up. 
Uh, oh look, other um, other shots. Wait, no, oh, wait, there's no, other go shots. Past. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't know there was another. I, this sorry, is, everyone. I didn't this know there was another picture. Such a like rip curl shot. That right, right there. Right down the. That right there is the best. That I is, am so in love tubular. with that. Okay, you know what this is? Oh well. Did you just say it, tubular? It you is tubular. Funny. I love. Well, I grew up in Huntington Beach. Right. The inter OP International Surf uh, Championships right there in Huntington Beach. I was not on a surfboard. I gotta say, I was I was reading the encyclopedia. That's so awesome. Oh, and and so uh, Bill was asking what the what the hammock piece is. It's actually a hammock, and we have one. And I was gonna Ooh. use it for mine, but I don't know what happened. I don't know where it is. Well, this just shows, and and look on the the lower left and the lower right, like the way. He's used lighting here on the lower right, mm -hmm. um, there where it comes through the wave like sunlight through those translucent bricks. You just see the power of lighting in you know how much mood it can add. Yeah, this is beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, and the colors are really well, lovely too. Well, the colors too. are just out of this world. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what voice was that? Were you just? You were just like. You were possessed by like a slightly always. Yes. All right. So this is from Brickworm. And this is, <laughs> I was feeling lazy this week. Y'all just do that build challenge without me. I'll be over here <laughs> in the puppy pile. It's, I added that part. That's <laughs> awesome. I love it. It makes me think of that episode of Parks and Rec where they, um, you know, at the where at they have the, the puppy at party. The girls, awesome, like Girl Scout. Um, what is it? The the Pawnee goddess. The Pawnee goddess. <laughs> having this awesome camp with a puppy party while <laughs> while like the survival boys are like I don't know eating twigs or something. <laughs> I love a puppy party. <laughs> and see there, look a bow on that dog right there. There. Oh yes. Well, you know that's the that's the magic of friends animals is they can all wear a bow or a crown and I am so exactly. I love one hundred percent here for that. Like what's not to love about we we did. We did owl an owl with a crown, right? Yes, our owl had a crown because, of course, it did. All right. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Uh, this is from Christopher Chalice. Thank you, Christopher, for sending something all the way from England. Daddy has decided to hire a beach hut for the for a day at the beach. Yay! Um, I did my micro build as beach huts. Yes, that's right. I yep, remember yep. with um, the photos to go with it. I decided to try my hand a bit of beach combing. Um, I may be lucky and find some Lego washed up <laughs> as we're in Cornwall. That's right. Um, Jaden eating ice cream, taking a break from building a sandcastle. This is great, Christopher. I love that you've like it's. Also, like your own story, right? This is your life because that's your son and you yeah. at the beach. That's so great, and I love that you like again, like continuing the theme from your last build. You know the 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 beach houses and then having them or your micro build. This is so great. I love it. And you know the metal detector is one of my. I love classic space, and there are only so many tools available for a classic space person. Yes. Um, and the metal detector is one of them. And <laughs> this great. reminds me of camping trips with my dad, and he always had a metal detector out with him. It was, you know, they were everywhere in the seventies, I think. Yeah, I do too, Johnny. I love the little beach hut. It is great. It's and so cute. And the parrot, and it's got the little little string hanging yeah. down. Sandcastle is great. Yeah, the rubber is ducky. Kind of, oh, yeah, the little, like, the inner tube, the yeah. little tube thing. That's fun <laughs> in the sun. Um, and, you know, and then, of course, you said in Cornwall, because it's true, there's, like, Lego washing up from some, like, disaster. I can't remember, like, something really? happened. Yeah. And then um, the pieces have been floating up along the coast there. But, like, the, Brit Cornwall. the Britannic went down. Yeah, so when, when Poldark is riding his horse in slow motion <laughs> with dramatic music he, down the beach, he can, like, pick up some Lego hoist on the way. You know, that doesn't really happen. I don't think that really happens. <laughs> Sorry. Except in, like, Old Spice commercials. <laughs> Oh my goodness! All right, uh, next. I can't help it. I hear Cornwall. I think of Poldar. All right, and who, Yay. Would, and who wouldn't really? Yay! Colorful. This is gorgeous. This is from um, 
Oh, it's a container ship that lost a container full of Lego. Look oh. at that. That's crazy. Um, the Britannic. Oh, my God. Stop. See, All right. I just floated that one right I, by. You did. I didn't, even, I didn't even hear it until I saw, the, um, you know. Right. That went over like a lead <laughs> Zeppelin. You know, it took me for like 15 years to get what that Led Zeppelin was oh. a Led Zeppelin. Okay, everybody, right. it is that it's that time. Is it? It feels like it. And, and you know it's that time because I can't find a towel. But that's all right. <laughs> you know I what? Take this towel duty. No, back. because this is about getting ready to be replaced. So um, I think we're gonna get let's a really fancy. Let's get a good top. look. We're gonna all get a good look at this, and then um, we're going to. Uh, we're going to take a pause for a second. Yeah, and then we'll come back and talk about this piece. And it's that time of the day. <laughs> All right. Here he goes. Look hey. at that. He's almost climbing up <laughs> on the table. Hi, Logan. It's Logan cookie time, Look everyone. How happy. The best. He says, no, just give me the cookies. <laughs> He's all about the cookies. Right, look. See, look, right there, you can see his face. Wagging his tail. Ready? Good boy! Oh, hey, yay, Logan. He says, all right. <laughs> it's... Y'all, I can't even today. We just, just almost not... had my digital doppelganger right here. Yes, it's true. Um, so we went out and had a um, socially distanced hangout with um, one of our very close um, friends in our bubble. Yes. Right? And he has a huge backyard that's fenced in, and Logan was leaping. Running back and forth in the yard, he making huge was, leaps. He, he was so happy. He was literally leaping. It yep. was hilarious. Had, it's his thing. Day. It's his thing. Okay, so shall we head back yeah. over to this? Look at that. All right. We got it. All right. Flowers, the color in this is so Yeah, lovely. I love You know Just who would love this way. is Brickmaster Amy. Yeah, would be yeah, would yeah. love this. Um, so this is from Citrus Bricks, and Citrus says, "Breathing the fresh air from the second story porch of my pink and purple dream house is something that I would love to do in the sun. Nothing is better in the sun than with our pets. For me, it is a cat." <laughs> well, there's so much to love here. I mean, I love that the the scale of it makes me think of very old school Lego, but it's a really sophisticated color palette. Yeah. One of my favorite things is the banisters. I think the use of, of those um, those stepped curves on the banisters mm -hmm. to make that delicate curve is great, and it goes so perfectly with the lines of the house. And I love the teeth. Um, yeah. Like the little teeth. Up at the very great. top, right? Mm -hmm. At the top and down on the porch, like over the porch. Just and a then, nice little decoration. And then taking the central window to be a French door. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, is it? It looks like that's on a oh, wait, hinge, what? right? So there's a working door on, right. the, on the balcony, but there's also, there's another, oh, like the, the wall little, hinge is open. The wall hinge is Oh, up. no, that's just like the shape of the building yeah. is it's hinged to... Yeah. It's so lovely. That's I love great. the proportions of this piece. Yes, this makes me really happy. And I love the decoration of the front of the like the containing box or whatever. Yeah, like the, the, almost the studs like a, out with the flowers on it. Like a flowered hedge or a, a terraced little garden. Yeah. And then all on a stepped up on a nice little pedestal. It's uh, such a fun scale. This is like some of the first um, Modular buildings we had were a much smaller scale, but the minifigs could still fit, right? Yeah. There's no way they could do anything in the store, but they could get into the store. All right, here we go. So this, oh, I wow. love the backdrop. Epic. This is from Cornado. Mm -hmm. um, it says, my idea of fun in the sun is taking chainsaw, not chainsaw, by the way, is Cornado's dog, which who we saw <laughs> the other night and is adorable. Um, oh, my right. idea of fun in the sun is taking chainsaw, Nala, and the child uh, to the dog beach in Santa Cruz, cleverly named Dog Beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's by the Surf Museum, and it's a great place. Uh, to let all the little ones play in the sand. We are very fair-skinned, so we bring more clothes and shade options than most. <laughs> Me too. I'm all about the shade. <laughs> that is awesome. 
My arms are about all that sees the sun. I love it. Yeah, um, the the all the textures in it are great, and you've got that great backdrop. Now, Cornado, did you actually take this at that location, or is this just a picture behind? Yeah, it's really the setting is really epic, and I love the way the the Lego browns and tans um, go with the natural landscape in the backdrop. That's awesome. And then the um, the balance in the just from a photography standpoint, I think the balance of the blue sky on the top and the blue Lego water is really pretty. Yeah, oh, I love it. There's there's been lots of dogs today. Dogs make me happy too. Right? They may not have known that about me, but dogs make me happy. Yeah, this is great. So right. I would, and I would though be interested from in hearing from them if it's like the on location, yeah, or or um, or not. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Corey. Nice umbrella too. Oh, this one's this one is a bit dark, and I think um, well, you might you might be able to be seeing it better than yeah, you'll probably yeah, be I seeing see it better it. than we are. This is pretty hilarious. The this lighting is, from, is really cool. It's, it's beautiful, super moody. So this is from Hooded One. Um, it says Super Snowflake Baby was taking her. <laughs> of course, Super, Super Snowflake, Snowflake Baby, Baby was taking a rest in the evening sun after a hard day uh, working for the Super Baby Justice League. Suddenly, he was surrounded by a giant coral colored oh. wall. Um, was this the latest ploy from that other Coraline villain? Well, with a blast from his superpower, he made a small opening in the wall. The last rays of the evening sun streamed in. What fun adventures would be on the other side? This is oh, great. So fun. Yeah, this is... Super Snowflake Baby. <laughs> I, know. I love the, the little furniture and the film noir lighting is really cool. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah the the lighting like on this is, it really makes it. Very it's so cinematic. Great. <laughs> yeah, it is very well, cinematic. The, what do you think about this this development of the Baby Justice League? Well, this we've is... got ours. I just haven't had a chance to get them together yet, but Super Creepy Baby is going to be... Oh, yeah. Part of, <laughs> he's part of the team. He just Super hasn't made an appearance Creepy Baby yet. is swaddled. They're even, you know, doesn't matter. less articulated than the other Super Babies. Maybe he needs a mech. Might have, like, psionic powers. Yes, yes. He's, he's, he's very... Powers. Yeah, he's like the Professor X. Of the of the super babies. of the super babies. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, All right, back to this. That one, okay. this is great. I love it. I love that you have um, the, uh, the depth per, um, with the with the sort of more out of focus yeah. things in the front, and then you've got your baby in the back, and that great lighting is it's just it's so moody and wonderful. Yeah, and I can't tell in the background behind this furniture. I can't tell if it's a reflection on a brick or to my eye it looks like an oil lamp, but there's not a you know, brick that's shaped like that. This right here. I think is that's that just a light a reflection? reflection. It's really yeah, pretty. It is really pretty. Right. Yeah, and then the out of focus parts in the foreground too. Uh, okay. So let's see. What's uh, out there? What's outside next? there? Who the can setting say? Sun? It's a mystery. It is. Oh. Yay! <laughs> We, I think we all know who this is from. This is from FabuFan MKE. Grab your squeeze box, slip on your dancing shoes, and head on over to the Fabuland band shell for a rip roaring polka party. I am so in love with this. That I can't. is happy. This is this makes me so happy right now. You know the the architecture of the band shell there is so perfect for this. You know that that low res quality goes with the giant flowers and the Fabuland stuff I think it's so I'm so in love and I'm also alternately completely jealous of all of the really nice they're so fabulous cute. figures and I think How I can cute. see a rhino in the back which I haven't seen before and that tuba is yet yeah. awesome how cute is this it's, is that a fox on the right uh, where right, right up there. That's nice. yes, it is a fox. They have these really kooky looking foxes. They're really cool. Yeah, and here's the there's the pig. Yep, and pig is, is that a hippo? Um, Down in no, the it's foreground. a goat. I think it's a goat. Got it. A goat, two rabbits. It looks like maybe a bear or a raccoon. Penguin, a penguin. And I want to be monkeys. at this party. I, I want to go there and just sit and have a sandwich. <laughs> um, I love the <laughs> or maybe um, some dessert. I love the music note too. The music note sticker. That's yeah, it's like top. a band shell, right? 
Yeah. And the, the, and, and the little sign is just great. It's yeah. just so much fun. Oh, this makes me so happy. And the cheerful <laughs> colors and the flags as well. Again, those color, those flags are so expressive. Oh, it's a gray horse? Oh, it is a gray oh. horse. You're right. And for, for whatever reason, it looked like it had like a rhino something. But yes, you're right. We do need more Fabuland. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, you know, that reminds me when I, it, more Fabuland makes me think of buying bricks online. And I've been searching for stickers. I want to get more fun, exciting stickers. Like, we had a huge collection and we don't have so many more. Right. Um, and we're right, going to start they're, rotating. They're, yeah, they're hard to find. We're going to start rotating our our sort Feature. of little features so then we only have to do one sticker a week instead yeah. of four but we're searching so any clues you all have of of like a store on bricklink or somewhere that is really a great place to get cool stickers um let us know because we want to show some others all right and mood rings and mood rings all right i know that i know orange bricks sent us some sticker pictures that yes we'll use, i can't so. even wait okay so this, oh, I see a baby. Um, this is from JMW Music, Joyride at the Surf Shack. <laughs> With my adopted super swaddle baby swaddled to my back, um, I rev up the engine of the stud surfer I rented and wave goodbye to my better half as she skates by. Um, two ice cream treats in hand. Life can be tough, but it can also be great. Two ice cream treats, look how happy. This is this is really great. Yeah, I love the I love the little the little like ski ski do <laughs> or what like little ski. Oh wait, you already said you said what it was. Stud surfer, the stud surfer, and then the baby on the back and the little like it looks like in the little backpack. Yeah, and the um the fishing rod rack is really cool. That that tan fence to support the fishing rods. Yeah, and I really like the <clears> use <throat> of the dark the earth blue with the white triangle for the little awning and then the and the, the sticker print on that surfboard or I think that's yeah. actually one of those wind sail surfboard deals but it's oh, just I yeah. love the I love that um that sticker set on there is really cool. And then it's funny seeing it in profile like this the um I love the kind of toothy quality that the grills have on the roof. You know, I never I never really see them sidelong but it makes me want to sort of stack them and Use them that way. MJ says, "Here you can find a lot of Fabuland on the second hand, uh, in the second hand store that used to be in Billund. I've heard about that. Um, there were a few boxes full of Fabuland. Um, so jealous. You know, there's no be there's no need to just make me feel more jealous, MJ, that you get to be in Billund. Look, 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 look. But we do have ours, right? It's probably not the sound it would make." And that was a that was a gift. I know from um, from a Fabby fan MKE and our and our friend Dave gave Thank us the panda. You. All right, here we go. Right oh. here on Flynn's desk, in our studio. Christopher. My goodness. Um, my summer build is a four part diorama of my memories as a child. Playground video arcade, swimming pool, and pizza ice cream, and summer fun treats. I composed this quickly from some builds that I had been doing from Tiago Caterino's YouTube channel where he provides daily builds. Over a period of time, I've built up a few models from his daily builds in the studio, so I figured I could throw this together in about an hour for the submission. Oh my goodness. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a closer yeah, look. Yeah, let's look at them individually. I'm gonna... Get this as big Thanks as for possible. Managing all this. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little tricky, but. All See right. how we suddenly got focused as soon as there was cool art to look at. <laughs> we always there's been lots of cool art to look at. Well, thankfully. no, that's what I meant. Like the second we started. Anyway, uh, the, the second focused. we started the gallery stream. Um, okay, so this is the. This would be the treats, the pizza and ice cream. <laughs> I love it, and I love the little. Um, the soft serve machine. Soft serve machine and the wood fire oven is great, and the little and I love. Love, love this yeah. background with the bricks and the the shapes yep. of it. It's just so keeps it from being um, it just keeps it from being too square. And, and I then really love it. The snot pieces with the flowers sticking out give yep. you so much more. Like th that wall's been around a while. Right. Um, okay, and this would be the pool. 
Yeah, which look is at that wonderful. Pool. It's beautiful, and on top of really great terracing. Yeah, that terracing on under is one of my favorite things about this model. It's so so good. And yeah, those the Unikitty Cloud stands are yeah. a favorite. <laughs> and then what's going on with the what's the top of the ladder going into the pool? I can't tell what piece that is. I, I, I recognize either. I recognize a one by two plate modified with bar for the rung of the ladder, right. but I, I can't tell what those vertical pieces are. Hmm. No, you don't need to add any people. This is great. Are you kidding? Is that I can't it's got beautiful texture, it doesn't need a figure in it. No, really. The, the colors, I think the color between the pink of the one behind it mm -hmm. and the tan on the other side, you have this really lovely pastel palette going on. Okay, so this is like the playground area. I love the little, um, the slide with the little, um, yeah, the, the little tower with the ladder and the seesaw is and great. And in, in those primary colors, it really pops. Yeah. And the the Ninjago hair, I love. I think that's Chima hair. Is actually. it down? Oh, I love it's that. It's like yeah, it's just the one that I. Uh, oh yeah, Christopher. The, it was the part that you used for the ladder, like the portion of the ladder that. Yeah, was the thing. two the sides that you really, would really hold cool. on to as you went down the ladder. And again, we get this great like not square area. Yep. And this, I think, is my favorite. Wow, foosball. How great is that the, foosball table? The mini foosball table, the mini um, air hockey table, the pinball machine, the jukebox, all of it. It's just, like, perfect. Yeah, and the yeah. colored stripes. And I love the color palette that it was chosen for this. I think it's just beautiful. Those colors go together. <laughs> and the so Ghostbusters nice. poster on the wall. So that part <laughs> is the bar holder with handle. So we'll have to look that up. Yeah, we'll handle. look it up on on Bricklink. Oh, it's so funny too. And you used this little um the, as your artwork with the sort of diagonal orange, like with the orange yeah. triangle on it. I was going to use those for artwork in that piece that I almost did and wasn't able to complete for Brick's Cascade. Um, it's oh so yeah, great. the jukebox. All of this furniture is just brilliant. It would be hard to make it any smaller, right? I'm in love with that foosball table. Yeah, and you well, know what great work. You, I'm I don't I'm, use studio. I don't have that skill. Um, I think this is just such a great use of it. How hard would it be to put together all these parts without making a brick link order? Well, and also say I know we say one photo, but if you have something like this where it's like four individual things, like feel free to send a photo of each. Yeah, because you know, honestly, we, this is amazing. We put some limitations <laughs> on these things to make it easier, but we want you to be able to share your art. You exactly. Know, however that you see best. Beautiful, Christopher. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Elmo Man. This is Mr. Elmo Man's, and uh, here is Mr. Elmo Man's mock. This is his family playing outside. He is swimming. Ah, uh, yes, there I he is. I see swimming. right there. Um, his brother and sister, Matthew and Faith, are throwing Matthew's pillow back and forth, <laughs> and his and his oldest brother Michael is playing ball with his younger brother Merrill. Super fun in the sun. That's really great. How, look how much fun that is! Look how they floated the pillow. Yeah, the the pillow floating uh, with the you know with the clear brick and then with the clear stick is so good. And I love the little the little water area and he's doing the backstroke. And I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fan of mixing mini dolls and mini figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's great. I mean, the, um, oh, and Brick and Issa, I should say, like, it's not that there's not a limit anymore, but I'm saying, like, no. if you have, like, like, Christopher's was, like, f clearly four separate pieces, and, like, we could look at each of those, but yeah. honestly, if you have, like, you know, if you have yours, and you wanted to show the cars individually or something like that, that's definitely, we can, we can accommodate that. Yeah, or, like, we've seen pieces before where you can't actually see major details from you right. know, one side, so, you know, send pictures of, of both sides. We just, I find it so easy with digital photos to send 30 photos. Right, well, right. and then, you know, and now that we've, well, almost streamlined almost. <laughs> We're close. the situation. Okay. Oh, this is great! Super colorful and fun. Talking louder again. We're not, we're not. We don't talk too loudly for your okay. So casualness, right? This is from Rob Zaccardi, and he, uh, Rob always sends stuff that uh, his family does, and I just I love this. Um, uh, yeah, you can absolutely do that, uh, uh, Naomi, that? for sure. Um, oh, hey, Mr. Elmo Man is here. We just showed yours. It was really great, and thanks for sending it in. Uh 
Um, oh, it's so, really fun. We thought that that was um, with the with the pillow fight, right? Yes. Um, we thought the way you floated the pillow was really cool. That was really, yeah, that was really fun. And the swimming, I think the attachment for the swimming was really nicely done, too. All right, so this is from Rob Zaccardi. This is from Lana, um, with a little help from Dad, only on the swing, um, created a, and by the way, really cool swing. Yeah. Um, Created a backyard afternoon adventure for Olivia. When Olivia took her babies out in the backyard for some fun on the swing set, some bunnies came by for hugs, carrots, and a look at the treasure chest. Yay! <laughs> fun in the sun. Um, I would love to... Um, yeah, I would love to be able to have that day. I want to go sit I, on a swing and watch have bunnies whole, come and visit, and I really want a treasure chest. I could watch whole feature-length <laughs> cartoons of these pieces we're seeing today. Right? I want to go there and run around and have a bunny party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, the, the swing and set is great. The treasure chest is great. I love the carrots. I know it's and not, but is this a David Bowie baby? No, that's a, that's a sewer baby. Yeah, but look, with the shirt, it looks like... Oh, no, that's like the David, David Bowie baby. Yes, that is the David Bowie. That's a super sparkle baby. And that, and he does have the, the um, David I Bowie lightning bolt. That's yes, so cool. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, and, yeah, outdoor lighting is always, always the sun. nice things. You know what? Right? I've done lighting a long time. There is no better light than the sun. It's the best one. Okay, so this one is from Vanessa, uh, also from Vanessa Zaccardi. Vanessa recreated an afternoon in the neighborhood, taking a ride on her bicycle while saying hi to the neighbors and watching some kids play Frisbee. What a fun um, neighborhood. Though her normal bike rides don't include being chased by evil Pac-Man with Unikitty and friends <laughs> coming to her rescue. And I don't know why she gave Pac-Man such enormous and creepy eyes. <laughs> that is the most cheerful Pac-Man I've ever seen. And do you know what, who I just realized is in this picture? Do you see who, who is in this picture right now? Oh, well... Behind the tree? Behind the cypress tree? It's, it's Richard. Richard. Yay! <laughs> I love. I am Richard. And I also, and what I also love is that um, we have Union Kitty and Puppy Corn, and the the professor is there as yeah. well. And she made her own head for the professor, which is great. And I love the whole. And that's Hawkadile there with the punching gloves on. <laughs> Did I just say punching gloves? Punching, you know, the punching gloves. That's how you protect yourself if a mummy comes Don't. out of the mummy case. <laughs> See what fun we have. <laughs> Why did I know that was coming? I will never let the mummy case down. <clears throat> oh my goodness. This is great. Um, I, <laughs> I, I want to go on a bike ride there. All these places, fun in the sun. Who would have known? And that and that tree. I'm jealous of that tree too. Oh yeah, we the have cypress like, tree. I think we have like one of them. They're really cool. But we were talking the other day about like real cypress trees are apparently like giant spider havens, which oh, is terrifying. No, well that's cool because that means maybe there's like spiders outside the haunted mansion. Um, so this is from Rob. Um, my best afternoon would be a family uh, barbecue on a bright sunny day, my wife sipping her drink, Lana eating her lunch, and Vanessa on the slip and slide. That I love slip it. and slide is great. Right? You go through the hoops. And I love that you also have the, um, you've got the barbecue, and then yep. there's the mini doll with the beard. He's got like beard oh trouble. yeah, because there is like there's like two or something, and he's wearing like angel's flight pants. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a fun scene. Look, there's the sun too, floating up in the sky on another <clears throat> of my favorite little rocker hinge. Oh yeah, when well, I love that star it is one as a favorite yep. from the Lego Movie too. Those are just so great. Oh sorry, Mini Fig Chick. It's true though. Anyway, uh, yeah. And apparently they also Maybe get, not all the cypresses. And apparently they get some kind of, like, what did we hear? There was, like, some kind of beetle that, like, eats them? I think Drew was telling us Yeah, this. it's tough. It's tough being the the <laughs> keeper of cypress trees. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, this is I know, great. Bill. See, you're right. I, I 
I think so too. That's a very cool treat part to have. Yeah, and Rob, I love that you use all mini dolls. That makes me super happy. I'm, you know, we are not against mini dolls in this family. All right. At first, I was like, mini dolls. What am I ever going to use those for? And then I know. <laughs> well, it was Treasure of the Snake Queen that changed uh, my whole thing on that. Uh, and you know what else is elves? Because yeah. elves sets. I love the parts so much, and that meant that I was seeing Nocturna and all of her. Emily, yes, being being kidnapped or Emily you know, was all taken away. She's always Emily having rescued. some problems. People. She rescued. She, she, was, she, was she got captured a couple of times too. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, Squirrel Girl Forty Two is here. Hey, welcome. Good to see you, uh, Rob. That's uh, Rob says that's an original uh, a cypress tree from the eighties from his collection. It's, it's so it's like in cool. really good shape too. Yeah, he's got like one or two of those. That's awesome. And I love the slip and slide too. By the way, <laughs> this is really great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is from Shane Levant, and he says, For a variety of reasons, I didn't have much time to build this week, so I went pretty minimalistic. That's okay. So did I. Flynn did, too. Um, my fun in the sun build is somebody playing disc golf. I used the skeleton costume minifigure as a reminder for everyone to wear a mask. <laughs> Probably a good idea. He's got his, oh, he's got his he's mask on. A mask. He's got a skeleton mask on. Very well, Flynn cool. Flynn said if he could, he would go outside. Like, if there was a protective Halloween mask, he would just go outside in a Halloween mask. I would. I would absolutely walk around with a Halloween mask on all the time if I thought I could breathe and not pass out. See, imagine, <laughs> imagine him shopping the vegetable aisle with a Halloween mask on. <laughs> I'm going to do it one of these days. They're not going to be able to stop me. <laughs> But yeah, I love it. And I love the floating, the floating disc. Yeah, it's not tensors floating. You don't disc, need but it's a floating see. disc. One, totally missed my D and D. Have I Bingo. got it? By the way, D and D reference. If you didn't get that one, <laughs> lucky there wasn't a gelatinous cube. One, two, three, four, five. Are you six, counting seven, pieces? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, wow. 17, 18, like 18 fewer than 20 pieces here and it tells a whole story it, it, well and if you were Lego you would count the, the legs the torso and the head as separate okay, pieces so maybe, so maybe 21 two more. pieces <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> um, but yeah, still the, right the golf goal whole thing is great and I love the and I love those three leaf plants and you know yeah. really it's like you can make something out of a few pieces. I actually just did um, a class yesterday where we talk about scale and what, like, like, big and small scale. It was so cute. It was awesome. He was teaching kindergartners about scale. Yeah, we it talked. Was amazing. And we all made micro cities, and they made. Well, we I showed them like how to do micro stuff, and they did a great job. Okay, uh, let's see. Thank you, Shane. Well, and it's crazy too because I'm sitting in the other room doing my work, right? And I hear them asking all of these technical questions about these builds and then I come in and they're kindergartners they're really little oh Brickinista says we should have a, br a brick count challenge um and it's for the <laughs> Shane. Um, yeah, a brick count challenge for the future I actually have that in my brain ooh I'd like that because like a um, 15 to 20 piece challenge uh, WGJL uh, says it's 19 pieces <laughs> yeah. um, okay Let's see here. I'm a I'm a fan of those green four leaf oh, things too. I love this. What? So what? This I didn't see is, this. I just downloaded it. This is from Super Sound Baby. Super Sound Baby <laughs> rides up to the airport on Turquoil, the narwhal, to see what all the hubbub is about these Animal Crossing islands. Of course it is. It's a it's the Dodo Airlines. This is so. Oh, it awesome. says so. It says so right up there. It does. This is so great. It's like combined. Combining many of my favorite things all in one, yeah. and I love that the that the narwhal has a rainbow horn with a purple end on it. It's it's really this is really really great. So am I mistaken? Am I mistaken? Or are those two by four uh, Duplo? Where? What are those? What are those translucent pieces those on the bottom? Those do, They're in fact, big. look like Duplo bricks That's on the bottom. I gotta awesome. say. Yep. I have. I really. Well, look. I keep on the desk all the time. My. Yeah. So we kind of have a thing on. <laughs> We have a lock on wow, this. Wow, that's great. Um, and, and how smart is that narwhal? So it, this is only listed as being super uh, super sound baby. So I don't actually know who 
the the actual creator of this is. So if it's you, please speak up so that I know. And we know who made it. And is that so? What is that hair on the baby? I love. Or the maybe giant, we're not meant to know. I love the giant wig on the baby. Oh yeah, that's the from the from the um, the DJ I think guy or Sound the gamer guy. That's awesome. Right. Well, this I think the three D modeling on the narwhal is my favorite. Yeah, part it's of really this. really well done. I love the like the little nose and all of it. It's great. The tail with those macaroni pieces and uh, yeah, love it. So good. Oh, uh, it's brickworm. Okay, awesome. This was uh, that very good. Thank you, thank you so much. That's great. Yeah. I love it. Oh, and so brick is brickworm. Are those Duplo pieces you use for yes, the water? They They're said, great. Yeah, he said that they were. So great. That's, so that means that I can put two by two rounds on a Duplo piece. I didn't know that. Big clear Look. Duplo bricks are available in the Serious Play starter box. Put mm. that. See, two by two round on a Duplo brick. I learned a thing. There you go. That's great. All right. This is awesome, Brickworm. Thank you. That's two that you did. Yeah, the dock and the hut, or, or the, yeah. the airport is great. Well, the colors are really nice. I love those colors, and I love the um, the planking on the on the pier. Yeah, I haven't I haven't used lime green, tan brown, and blue together. And is it turquoise on the roof? Uh, yeah, it, it looks is, like right? turquoise holding up the. The, uh, yeah, it's a top. nice palette. It's so great. Really, really great. And the rainbow, too. And Animal Crossing. So it has everything, really. <laughs> it's got it all. Okay, so this is... I'm going to have to shrink this one back down. Sorry. I wow, this, can see all of it. this reminds me of our ice tower that was one of our, you know, one of our uh, architectural creations. Yes, you're right. Okay, so this is from the Hornburgers. This says, Welcome to Waterfall Gardens. Um, guests enter through the Grand Waterfall entrance and Yay. are met by a photo op with Lego City's leading lady, Marilyn Money, who has just finished filming her latest <laughs> movie in the gardens. <laughs> this is awesome. beautiful. I love the, the green wall, right? The plants and flowers. And, and is that... There's a Technic connection on that um, medium azure four-leaf flower on the left. Yeah, right? it's a, yeah. there's a, an axle in there, and I love that little floral thing on the left, and I love the little ticket booth on the right with the tiny dog on it. Yeah, it's and really then good. how is... There's some stuff going on in that, that plant wall because there's also the sprout is studs up and yeah, the other stuff is I, not. I think that is deceptively uh, intricate. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that. That's cool. Plus, how long did you spend getting all those angles for the water just the way you wanted? That's that really great. Balance. This, this is a perfect example of what what I talk about with balanced asymmetry this is it's a really balanced piece but the two sides are very different you know the two sides are different yeah I am um, I'm not sure what's going on but I'm losing I have lost my ability to move the the slideshow forward Oh, there it goes. Yay! Woo! It's back. All right, so here's the here's the photo op with Marilyn Money. <laughs> <laughs> I love her, and I love her hair, and her whole outfit, and everything. And I love the fountain with the tumble. Is that yeah. Hagrid back there? It's like Hagrid back there. <laughs> oh, Hagrid. Oh. Oh, is okay. Hagrid coming up out of the... It looks like... So there's some... Whoa! Oops, there goes our camera. Uh-oh, that's because look what I found under the laptop that was making what? me giggle the whole time. A pointy, like, one-by-one one pointy Lego. There was a P thing. under the mattress. Yeah. Okay. Oh, one of those pyramids. Yeah, see, this is an example. We couldn't see this photo op from the original photo, right? So please send us... Just oh yeah, we have we have see. yeah we have so we have more. Um, after that, guests are free to enjoy the the beautiful surrounding and have fun in the sun. On lily pad leap, guests must be careful <laughs> not to be blasted by water from the fish cannon while balancing across the pond. <laughs> fish cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Right, that, this is the e-ticket ride right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is absolutely and the e-ticket ride. They, they've got their their um, life safety vests. Yes. On, and I'm jealous of those orange The orange three-leaf. Oh, my goodness. Three-leaf things. Yes. No, yeah, th uh, I, 
No, yeah, no. Look, this the is guy really in the back wonderful. is all determined. This is going to be fun, but I'm going to have to go fast. Well, and then the fish can, and it makes me think, and it's so brutal, but whenever you go to the theme park, they always have those um, where you get into the big round giant raft and you go through like the white water rafting with like, oh, yeah. a bunch of people sitting in a circle and without fail they always put like water cannon guns up so that like yeah. other guests can like shoot you with water uh. it always makes me so mad the worst <laughs> I do not want to get wet on this water <laughs> on this ride dang water ride <laughs> Um, oh my goodness alright that is that is fantastic yeah. alright let's see and there's more wait there's more so, Yay. so this is um, the giant slide offers a cool wet ride into the refreshing pool. It just so happens that Hagrid is visiting the gardens today <laughs> and has made his way down the slide, <laughs> resulting in a giant wave. <laughs> This is the moment before all heck breaks loose. Despite being too short to go on any of the rides, the baby has found a spot to enjoy his Yay. day over here. With ice cream um, and hot dog. Whoa, wait a minute. To enjoy a watching unsuspecting guests get soaked while they stand by the edge of the pool. It's a fun day in the sun today and every day here at Waterfall Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is amazing. <laughs> I love the the mix of blues in the slide and that wave, and I bet that wave took a long time to to model just the way you wanted. Well, but and then the fact that like you thought that like giant Hagrid jumping in the pool would cause a giant. <laughs> I mean, just all of it is hilarious. Um, yeah, really, this is fantastic. <laughs> Fun and sun. Yeah, that guy is gonna have a wet hot dog in he a minute, is. and when like the bun is just gonna disintegrate into the. <laughs> so awesome. Oh look, and there's the baby. There's the baby with a like place to go. I love this photo op with all the faces facing forward. And then the nautical theme with mm -hmm. the you know with the, the shell. shell there too. So good. And it, yeah, that is a different. That is a different baby. Baby. Uh, thank you so much, the Hornburgers. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. All right, this is from the Lego Vet. Um, it's a real-life event. This is me and my boyfriend hiking down Pinnacles National Park. Uh, we were lucky enough to see a California condor during Whoa. our trip. There are less than 500 in the world. Oh, sorry. California condors, more than one. Whoa. Um, these magnificent creatures are the largest North American land bird, with wingspan reaching 9.8 feet and weighing up to 26 pounds. On my sunny days, I like going outdoors and exploring the wonders of nature. I was outside when taking this picture. This was natural lighting with the sun and the clear blue sky as my background. That's a great photo. It's I love it. This is and so great. Oh, that condor. I love the head of the condor. Yeah, the condor and, model. And, and the, the two perpendicular uh, uh, clips. Yes. And I love that he's like terrified about yeah. to fall over with the camera. <laughs> I think because he's trying to point it up too high. Um, it's I really, really love it. And I love that you took it outside and it looks like you're probably holding yeah. it with this with the real sky in the background. And the, the awesome. thick base is always nice too. That you yeah. Should, Palisades bricks on the base is such nice detail. Exactly. I love, well, and also it keeps it from being too flat, right? Like yeah. it's just it's really really. Yeah, great. I like definitely with our pieces. Look, I'm gonna start the sentence again. Uh, in our work, you've often encouraged us to to um, move away from always having a square base plate, right? Like with the Frankenstein windmill yeah. using angled plates. I think it's interesting, especially for landscaping, when you know when it breaks the box. All right. Which yeah, I didn't I, do on mine. I made a rectangular one. Yeah, brickworm. You're right. The, that brick built condor is a sellable design. <laughs> it's really good. It's and and it, and it looks like you know less than. Ten parts, probably. Yeah, the two angled, um, the the two slopes. Are they slopes or inverse slopes? I guess they're slopes um, for the wing tips and tail. Are hey, really nice. Mini Pig Nick is together. here. Sorry to interrupt. Mini no Pig Nick is here. Hi, all. Nick. Welcome. Uh, let's see. All right. Love this. So fun. Okay, so these next ones are from WJGJL Productions. Sorry. Okay. Um, 
and I apologize if they're out of order. There was um, so these characters are having fun inside of the sun. <laughs> Tricky Bricks, Richard and Flynn are having fun by the Lego Ferris wheel. Um, Darth Sidious is trying out the slip and slide. Azog is canoeing. Some guy is walking his dog, and another person is jumping in the water. Oh no, he splashed Gandalf the Grey. He's still having fun though. That's good. Plus, there's a great view of the Earth from the sun. Okay, so we let's see Gandalf the Grey there. Yeah. And here are some more. <laughs> I love the um, the canoeing. The canoeing guy is great. And there's like I think it's like the brick separators used as a bridge is brilliant. Yeah, it's so it's so good. I really really love this. Um, yeah, there's a but like there's a nice better view of the um, <laughs> and I love the story too. Can I just tell you how much I love the story of this? This is just so good. I know that was a that was a curious day right there. And inside the sun, any day absolutely. you're inside the sun with <laughs> Gandalf, you know it's going to be an adventurous day. I know. <laughs> Although if I'm in the sun. Having Gandalf there would be very helpful. Yeah, it's true, and I love the so, and I love the crate and all the minifigures and there that there's so mi I love that all the characters coming together to just like to create this like fun imaginative scene. Yeah, it was really it was really fun. Thank you so much. This is great. Yeah, the brick separator bridge is probably one of my favorite parts. It's so good. Oh, and there's a fi and there's a final and there's the sun, <laughs> or there's the earth maybe from the sun. Oh my goodness. All right, and this is from Wilfred. Wilfred said, here's some dirty, gloomy, and fiery fun in and with the sun. Oh, another one, oh, in the sure. sun. <laughs> I built this vignette using mostly common bricks from the Le Lego Classic Box number 11717. A few bricks from the 12 and one rebuild into free with... Oh, the free with purchase set. That's right. Okay. And two minifigs to remind people who are new to the tricky lug that you don't need tons of bricks to have tons of fun. Right. In the sun. In the sun. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love uh, I well I love the 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 sun using all of the using all of the yellow parts with that great like burst piece yeah. in the background. And and of course, a magnifying glass. I would want to have a mag magnifying glass on the sun. Yes, and yeah. I love so. And there's uh, Patrick from SpongeBob, who I guess has got mud all over him. But then Wilfred made it as that he's got like chocolate ice cream and a chocolate bar, which is why he's chocolate. It's <laughs> melting. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that makes me laugh. This is great, and I love the like the angle of the. Um, the angle of the palm leaves in the background, yeah, um, all of it, and the little <laughs> like the eyeballs on the ground, and I I'm not positive, but it looks like somebody is like creating more fire by using the That's magnifying glass. That's what I'm glass. thinking. That's <laughs> why I'm thinking like, what fun would you want to have on the sun, but use a magnifying glass to start a fire? <laughs> and yes, oh, excuse me, and of course we do not approve of using magnifying glasses to start fires. Please be careful with your well, unless magnifying you glasses. you're like lost in the woods and I know and then you need to and that reminds me don't keep a crystal ball on your shelf near oh, a window my goodness. with us with the sun coming through it because it will burn a hole we know this <laughs> from experience we know this keep your crystal ball away from the window yeah <laughs> just saying hey, okay All right. check it out this is one of my favorite objects Check that out. And believe it or not, this is not the one. This is close the no, burn. A different one. <laughs> this one's in our living room in a in a bronze hand that you know holds it like that. One of my favorite objects. Oh my goodness. All right. Yes, crit. Well, it didn't it's funny, it didn't start a fire, but it started burning a hole in the top of where you know like just in a line, like in a where line. the sun would like change <laughs> angles just and like, it's just like sear a uh, <laughs> lightsaber hole in the shelf. It was not cute. No, you don't want that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um this is from Xander. And Xander says, three explorers find the ancient city of pizza. <laughs> I want, I want Look, that place. Brickanista says, I don't mean to distract. Um, Brickanista says, Ms. Thing needs a crystal ball. Oh, of I agree. What more does a hand need? Needs a crystal ball. Uh, so three explorers find the ancient city of pizza. 
Little do they know that bad guy <laughs> McEvil Face is oh. hiding top left and is going to try to steal the pizza off the altar. You gotta watch out for bad guy McEvil Face. Yeah, he's so like that. Uh, let's see. Again, the use of grass here is just perfect with the with the sprouts and other leaves there. Yeah, I think we should do a Lego in nature challenge at some point. I think All that right. would be fun. Lego right? outside? Yeah, I mean, everybody's got to, got, can take many things yeah. outside, right? Um, yes, there are many inanimate hands in our household. It's kind of terrifying. It's, I have a thing. It's eyes. As an artist, I've had a thing about eyes and hands for decades. So I love the, like, the pizza altar with, like, the <laughs> slice of pizza. I love that you didn't just use the round piece of pizza, but it's a slice. It's, so you can immediately tell what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's recognizable. You got the torches on the side. I love all of the studs out and studs up building and all of the plants and the landscaping is great. And there's more torches up here, right at the top of the wall. Yeah, and that, that bad guy's up to no good. I gotta say. Um, like they do. <laughs> like they do. <laughs> That's their job, right? <laughs> Oh, the horn burgers. Oh, no. That's too perfect. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Tombstone Pizza. <laughs> right on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Too silly. I love it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, this is a, this one is a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, I like the landscaping and the studs out, um, you know, with the the studs out plate in the background. Oh, yeah, sorry. Do you want to go back? No. Okay. Um, well, I mean, this... actually, I was wondering okay. I was wondering how that background plate was mounted. Is it is it using is it that controversial in? method that we use? It's not controversial. No, it's, it's accept legal it's now. It's accepted. Or is it mounted on, on snot pieces? I used it. I always love... Yeah, oh, did. right! There's anchovies in the barrel. I didn't even see that. I saw the blue <laughs> fish there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So, last but not least, this is, like, one of my happy places um, right here. Yeah, this is from Zerkino, Kim. This mock is me inside, enjoying the sunlight coming through a window while I read a book. Um, I was going to reshoot the picture, but I ran out of time. No need to reshoot no, the picture. No, this is great. I love the the... Um, the sort of forced perspective it does on the walls and lighting. I love practical lighting through windows. Oh, WGJL Productions, a little a little light reading. Oh, 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 oh wow, wow! All right, this thing gives five fingers up to that. Point. I know. I think that's going to be um, I, Moto, Moto and, and uh, Shane are going to get uh, have a run for their money. No, we're going to have to have a punitentiary <laughs> around here. Um, but I do, yeah, I do love this. The, the cup of coffee, the chair is a wonderful design. By the way, I love it using those rounded uh, pieces as the arms. Yeah, and the Moby brick, uh, which of course means you have the bookshop and I'm terribly jealous and then you got that great like Golden Gate Bridge picture hanging on the yeah. wall and I love the lamp too with the with the trans blue and it's that, really great and that new piece the new sort of half cylinder piece on the um, the arms, arms of, the, of chair. the chair yeah I just mentioned that oh I think sorry I was, I was, okay. my, my eyes must have been working and not my ears and I think it's a recliner because it looks like it has that front thing on it that the recliner oh, bones yeah, and have angle back see the thing with me is if I recline the minutes until I fall asleep unless I'm actively engaged the minutes till I fall asleep sleep not many we have to have a rule no sitting we have a recliner couch no sitting on the couch when we're working on a project because mm -mm. the project stops that may have been what happened to me last it, night but maybe not oh and we're back to the beginning that's right because that was the last one all right Yay, so many happy, wow fun places in the sun that was awesome thank you so much everybody once again for sending your awesome uh models in and golly we filled up almost the whole time i know Perfect. that's crazy. i thought maybe we might end early but we had something like i don't know how many did we have i know somebody was asking earlier one two three four five six seven eight uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That's so a that's, bunch. Yeah, that's, that's, a bunch like, of um, that's right up there with our second highest uh, yep. number of entries. Um, okay, so now ours. Okay, Are you ready? Given, given the time, I need to step away just for a second and make sure I can um, 
sit here longer. Just hang on a second. <laughs> bingo. Right? Bingo, Sorry. bingo. All right. Um, so I'll do mine first then. Well, I'll be right back. I'll just be a second. Okay. I'm going to get mine ready here. All right. So this is mine. Um, yeah, everybody's... <laughs> um, I keep forgetting that no, we I'm are good. like ahead of the chat a little bit. I'm good. Um, all right. So this was this was actually originally meant to be something a little bit different, and then I just wasn't able to get it together. But well, I'm well, happy what with what... Yeah, yeah, what you did do out. was create a happy story. Yes. So um, I, you, I did Thunder Man on the beach, and he's got his... Um, can I lean him forward? He'll slide off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Look, he took a swim. He dove into the water. You can see his little beach towel there. But yeah, he. Um, so it's Thunder Man on the beach. He's got his water, and his cra the crab and the seal and the parrot have all come to visit <laughs> and listen to the dulcet tones of Thunder Man. <laughs> so. There's my. There's I mine. I would think. I'm not sure, but I would think Thunderman would give that a thunderclap. I hope so. I would think so. <laughs> that looks like a happy afternoon. All right. So here, here's the one I made. Uh oh. Moto says Thunderman on the beach. Dot dot dot. And suddenly I hear. I hear the gears. <laughs> I can hear the gears turning from here. Thunder rolling through the clouds. <laughs> so here's mine. It's a little micro scale build. Um, this is um, based on a trip that I took, uh, a hiking trip I took in the Sierras. Um, and this is um, Flynn and me and Logan. Logan was kind of tough in micro scale <laughs> there. I went round and round about him. But that's Flynn and me and Logan next to a very active stream and a waterfall. That's awesome. Oh, I will be. Don't worry. I'm. I am careful of the stickers. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Don't worry. <laughs> no not, more. No more anywhere. swimming for Thunder Man. Well, I love this, and I love that you did. And you used sideways building for your waterfall, right? Yeah, I tried. I wanted to get. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Kim. I I um wanted to get super tricky with the waterfall, and I tried using translucent um, blue columns and putting um, blue flames in them or dots. Yeah. And I just I wanted a smaller detail. It's really great. I'm jealous. Oh, thanks I, a lot. I feel like mine was substandard, but well, I, think, I did what I could yeah, <laughs> in I the time the thing that I is, had. The thing is, you told a story. You told a finished story, right? Well, sure. Why not? It's not all about the most complex thing ever. <laughs> I did. I sweated oh. so much over the... Oh, oh, and something I wanted to point out here. So I've done a lot of sea kayaking, so the turbulence in the water and the deeper patches. But my fun in the sun comes in because there's these yellow uh, reflections of the sun in the water. Nice. Hopefully I was a little painterly with the water. Oh, Bill Ward, thank oh. you. Oh, and I wanted to point out, too, somebody was just uh, mentioning thunder the... Thunderclaps. <laughs> Yay, thunderclaps. Um, I did wanted to show you somebody was mentioning the trees. So this is the piece that we were talking about earlier. This is that old school um, uh, bendable palm, thing, palm right? tree They're thing. They're all individual pieces. Right? right, so they come apart like... They're right, like little, firm poppet connection. little poppets or whatever. And they, and they stick together... And they have a um, they have a flexibility to them. Oh, and look, then look, Flynn. Blue, uh, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm so sorry. Brickaroo Bonsai says um, they're an a avid open water kayaker. I love kayaking. Oh, awesome! I want to get yeah. us back on the water and maybe calmer water than I used to be on. So just to show you these, um, so these older pieces, uh, you could actually fit one of these in here. Oh, thank you, Aubrey. <laughs> that little peach towel was fun. Um, let me show you this. So this is a this, super handy piece. So this is a this is a handy bit. Hey, we use that for lanterns too, right? Yep, with they, a, with like a dish on top. Traditional Lego lanterns use this, and this it's got. You put that in the top, and then you can attach all of your. You like your palm leaves to the outside, and you yeah, can double Moto, them up. I agree. Those palm trees, not only are they so expressive, I, I think those palm leaves can be used for lots of different 
greenery. Oh yeah, and Bill was saying there's actually also a non-bendable uh, palm tree as well, which is true. But I love these bendy ones, and I don't know how we ended up with these. No, we got um, uh, somehow we got a bunch of them, right? Yeah. I think it was in us in a uh, like Craigslist box. Yeah. So there you go, easy palm tree. And then it and then it has a two by two on there. Oh, oh thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that. Uh, awesome. Well, this was great, everybody. I, what a I wonderful Ms. slideshow. Moto, I agree. Ms. Thing does like palm trees. Palm. Palm. Oh, no. Trees. Hey, no. Palm trees. Oh, this really hurts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if she if she had that crystal ball, she... Well, I guess you don't need a crystal ball to read palms, I no. guess. She's, she's literate. She reads palms. Hey, James is here. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Um, gosh, well, we are pretty, we are at the end. So the next challenge. Yes. The next challenge. Well, not, okay. Not insects just yet. No. I, although I think that would be a fun one for us to do. Right. Now, we had something picked out. But next Friday, um, next Friday is our 10-year anniversary. And we'll be here hanging out. So there was some, um, uh-oh, what's going on? I see, oh, no, and hope you are okay. What's going on? I hope everybody's all right. Okay, I don't see anything. All right. Anyway, maybe there was just a misunderstanding. Okay, anyway. Uh, there oh, no. is... Did we miss know. something? I, think, I feel like, like people are concerned about someone. Yeah, I feel I've, uh, I've missed something. But anyway, you can let us know later. Yeah. Um, whatever it is, I hope it works out. Um, but yeah, so we um, have... Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. We have some... Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn, for the reminder. Well, we we would normally do this with official viewer yeah, mail. Yeah, normally but, we would do... Here, um, let's do... Thank you. So we showed you... Viewer the, mail. We showed you the masks the other day. We also got these awesome rainbow coffee cup pins. These are from Pete's and, uh, you know, Pete's Celebrating Pride. So we have these awesome pins. And then there's a couple of sticker sets, but we're That's saving so those cool. for sticker set show and tell. Sticker set show and tell. And we got a nice, it says, a nice note. It says, we are all human beings. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We I agree. Are. I love coffee. Thank you very much. Um, awesome. Thank you, Marilyn and yeah, Steve and David. I like Pete's coffee too. I have to be careful; it's so strong. Well, that's it's what we, it's have, what every we have at home, right? It's, it's all every day. Yep. Um, my goodness. Yes, and, this thing can fly. It's wait, true. And it's just did, a thing. did you read? Do we want to? Um, yes. Uh, well, sure. So it says here are a couple of masks. Steve also has two uh, two pins and a sticker set for sticker time, which we have. Thank um, you. I uh, wish I could come and cut your hair. <laughs> Me too. <'cause> <laughs> like, yeah, and um, take care of yourselves, and we can't wait to see the two of you. Um, maybe the two of you could come and visit us sometime. We yes, we would love to, to do that. that. We want to come to where you are, because where you are is beautiful, and we want to come visit as soon as we are allowed to do such a thing. Yeah. Um, well, what? How fun was it to get that in the mail? It was. It was fun, and thankfully, it didn't get stolen. Off and of we our love porch. the masks too. Yeah, yeah the masks great. are great. They're really beautiful. My uh, the Incredibles one is my new favorite mask. I've been wearing it around. Oh, and you gave her. She's got a very tight bracelet on now. Well, I didn't want her. Her accessories keep coming off. I think she can get more glamorous, but she wasn't feeling glamorous today. My oh. ring says mysterious. So we got a little off track here. So we yes. were talking about the um, we were talking about the challenge for next week. So oh, we had yeah. a challenge picked out. And now people are saying that we should do some kind of like tenth anniversary challenge since it's gonna be our ten year anniversary. Now I, we didn't want to make it a, about ourselves, but a lot of people were also talking about it. So let's get a quick vote in yes. the um, in the chat, what do you think? Do you want to go mystery with the one, challenge? the mystery challenge that we already picked out, which we can do another time, or do you want to do this um, ten-year anniversary challenge that people were, yeah. <laughs> which, were, which can be, but does not need to be focused on us. Lots right. of people yeah. have anniversaries about lots of different things. Absolutely, it's true. So Our birthday is an anniversary. Now I am watching the chat intently. A bum, 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 um, bum. Yes, Steve Parmley says, remember, Bricks by the Bay virtual starts tonight. It's That's true. Our, our home convention is Bricks by the Bay. Yep, yep, yep. So um, look it up online, right? Is it BricksbyTheBay.com? BricksbyTheBay.com, that's true. And we are actually going to be doing a... Um, 
uh, we're doing a panel tomorrow night at 5 p.m. A bunch of the other LEGO Masters are going to be there. Mark, Boone, Jessica, Corey's going to be there. Crystal. Jermaine, Crystal, and Amy. Oh, and Amy. Um, and yeah, so I think it's going to be I think it's going to be really fun. I think it'll be a fun panel. And Bricks by the Bay always has great um, great mocks and fun activities. All right, so I see. I think you know. I think that the the ten the t it says ten or anniversary. So let's just yeah. let's just make it ten. Yeah. What? Okay. So it's um so that uh yeah so that you can interpret that broadly. Right. The theme is ten. ten. Right. And then we'll do the mystery one next time. Yeah. The mystery one will be fun, but I think this one will be yep. fun too. And I'm actually interested to see what people will be coming. Uh, We'll, we'll be coming up with, especially okay. for such a broad sort of, yeah. So okay. we'll do 10. So there we're going to throw caution to the wind here. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm going to throw caution to the wind, and I'm going to say, make it whatever size you want. Make sure we can see it in the photograph. Make it this big if you want, or this big if you have time and you can get it all in the photograph. Just no limitations, just something to do with <laughs> 10. Something to do with 10. Right? So yeah, we'll be doing the we will be doing the yeah, and whatever ten means to you. Yeah, it's and, like, and but it's our it's our ten year anniversary, so that could be ten dogs, ten whatever something something. Ten vampire bats. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, they, they, exactly. See, this is funny. I I we give very we give like very specific, um. Challenges sometimes, and this one is a little bit more, a little more open. Oh, so, Alfred says ten by ten. What to do a ten on ten by ten? No, it's that not. That would be hard, let's, right? Let's let's just leave it at ten. But <laughs> if you, Wilfred, if you want to interpret that ten to be a ten by ten piece, exactly, totally valid. Um, I know when I, you know, I'm going with ten parts exactly. Good, Shane. That's a, see, that's the thing. Is it could be any of those things. Yeah. It could be ten pieces. It could be ten a uh, ten by ten square it could have something to do with 10 it could be an elaborate interpretation of the number 10 yeah or you know you know who knows well, it could be you know, anything and i keep returning to this because i 10 babies it could just be. saying <laughs> and Brick and Issa just said 10, ten super, super sewer babies. babies. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I, I keep coming back to the Brickmaster's advice because I think it was very good. You know, um, some pieces are, the things that go into good pieces are storytelling, technical ability, and creativity. Mm -hmm. And some things are more than others. I yep. think this is a creativity challenge. This is definitely a creativity challenge. And, you right. know, being able to have uh, storytelling in it will uh, will definitely Doesn't help hurt. you. Doesn't hurt. Um, Yes, yeah, so, oh, see, we're getting more awesome things here. 10 inches is 32 studs. Look at that. That is correct. So a 30 by 32 base plate would get you, um, that would be 10 inches. Um, sets I had when I was 10 years old, absolutely. All of that, whatever um, 10 means to you. 10 miles, bricks. tented, <laughs> decathlon. Uh, this is great. So there's lots of uh, there's lots of things. Ten commandments. Yeah, there are, there are definitely ten. There are definitely ten of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there, yeah, so there's all kinds of um, Do, doing all ten tennis. Be, yes, doing absolutely. all ten would be a major build. Ten Lego <laughs> minifigures. Yeah, see, so it doesn't have to be about us or our anniversary. That's no. why I think it's good that we just use it as at, it leave it at ten. Tensils, tensils. <laughs> like I had my tensils out. Tenant, David Tennant. No, David Tennant would be awesome. Yep. Mm. All right. So, but you do have to include. Yeah. So you do have to include ten in it somewhere. Yep. Yeah, Roman numeral X is also yep, a ten. That's totally right, Bill. And w didn't we just have uh, bricks by the bay? 10? That was last year. Last year. So the theme for that was ten. So yeah. So I we will leave it to you to interpret that however you want. And I would like to see. So we got twenty five entries this time. I would love to see if we can get more than twenty five. Yep. We did over forty for the the rebrick challenge, but let's yep. see if we can get more than twenty five. So if you this. don't have time to build, we totally get that. Yeah. Everyone's getting so busy lately. But if you think maybe it's not, I don't know, should I share this or not? Share it. Yes, build please. something and share it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten scenes from The Office. David Tennant, this is getting intense. Oh, so Lord, all yes. of this. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. No. Well, uh, 
What are, these these puns are going. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, I wanted to. I just wanted to say They're thank you, great. everybody, for all your great entries today. It really, you know, our day did not start off so awesome, but it's it's no. Um, it this has really cheered us up. Boo boo kitty morning, and um, super happy baby. Yeah, and you know why couldn't it have just been like a minifigure blind bag? Why did it have to be like the four hundred? Yeah, <laughs> make me so sad. Well, okay, yes. well, well, um, Wilfred, I agree with you. We do try to um, we tr we try to uh, always stay away from um, religion and politics and keep it family friendly. Yeah, and that leaves a lot of room. That's true. <laughs> oh, Mr. Elmo Man says so. We can make it as big as we want. Yes, you can make it as big as you want. Yeah. Yep. Maraid, if you send it in, we'll show it on Monday. Um, let mm -hmm. me see. What else? Uh, oh, Bill Ward says, can we do a rebrick challenge once a month? I actually think that would be awesome. Sure. And I would love to do that. I would do that. Um, and, you know. And I got to say, um, I'm sorry. I keep, no, I keep interrupting you. I get excited, right? No problem. Um, is uh, all these super chats and Patreon and all of that that we're so grateful for, we're yeah. turning back into the show. And that allows us to do things like help people um, out with a rebrick challenge. Or we are going to do a giveaway again, too. Yes, I don't want to tease that too much, but we're going to do well, a giveaway. When we hit our 100th um, episode, when we hit our 100th episode, we're going to do a giveaway. And if we yep. can manage, to get up to um, hey Remy Baker, how's it going? Um, if we can manage to to get up to two thousand subscribers, now there's a lot yep. of people following, but they're not actually subscribing. So if we can get up to two thousand two thousand subscribers, we yep. will do a giveaway of a set. Yeah, well, actually, we're gonna we're gonna mention that a few times too. Yeah, so that'll be just like. Something to think about. If you can get people to subscribe, we'll be that'll Ooh. get us one step closer to a giveaway. WGJL Productions uh, is what on Monday? Um, no, Monday we'll be doing another one of our how tos. And if there is something mm -hmm. that you are looking forward to, or'd like to know yeah. about that, yes, Remy, we love the Sandman. We loved it. Everybody, we super enjoyed it. We even pulled it in close up to get real good at all it. the details. You did a great job. I loved yeah. it. Really, and, you know, really good. We're going through our email too. We're going to have more viewer mail to share and more mm -hmm. stickers to share. Yep. Um, and also, I think there have been some suggestions already on some how tos and other yes. things. Yes. So we'll have a look at those as well. Yeah. And and again, thank you everybody really for like for the for the Patreon for for going to Redbubble for sending stuff to our Venmo for. Or, you know the um, super chats yeah. and all of that stuff, and you know living through, uh, hopefully skipping through an ad at the beginning. And I'm still so sorry about that. I'm still yeah. trying to figure out if it gets um, to be a problem. Wait. Let us know because we're really like we don't like commercials. Yeah, um, we like to be able to do this um, and and um, offer lots of stuff. But we also we're not real big commerce people, right? Right. Um, right. And so what is this, about three hours into the chat today? No, we're only... It's Oh, wow, we went long. I know. Well, because we started late, remember? Yeah, it's true. So just as a reminder, you can email us at flynn at trickybricks.com, and that's where you will send your... the. Um, Images for the next challenge, which is well, the famous the Google. 10, or you can do, I will make a Google form. I will s post that again in the community tab. It was helpful. <coughs> We're going to figure out how to use it. Um, <laughs> by the way, if you... Um, Thanks, go Mr. to if you want to keep kind of keep up with stuff that we're doing. If you go to our YouTube page, the actual page, and look across the top of the menu, there is a tab that says community. And if yep. you go there, it's like a little community place where we can put posts, and that's where we put the updates on our challenges, and where we put links to things like the the Google form. Yeah. And um and I'm I'm very excited to have um. Uh, to have a friend, Shane, helping me uh, work out uh, our, excuse me, a redo of our website. I know, so which that we're going to be able to. Better hub, right? Yeah, yeah. All things Tricky Bricks. Yeah, so we're going to try to have a, a hub there where you can go and there'll be links to episodes. There'll be 
breakdowns of episodes and hopefully like links to things that we've talked about so that you don't have to scroll through all of the you know all of the videos and stuff and like you know that. what i'm gonna do a shameless plug plug for flynn here he doesn't talk about it very much but he is a teacher and um with everything going on lately he's not going to schools or teaching um in the way that he was so he's creating a brand new curriculum both for kids and for adults and we're gonna tell you lots about it but if you have if you know of people <laughs> who would be interested in that sort of thing and think that Flynn would be a good teacher um, he's going to be offering for pay that sort of thing in the coming period and we're still gonna do the how to's every Monday here for free yeah yeah we'll be doing the we'll be doing the ones um, We'll be doing the ones here. So, oh, MJ, I thank I, you so much. We only appreciate a little that. meant to put him on the spot because I think he's an out, outstanding teacher. I would take a class from him. Thank you, honey. I'm super embarrassed now. <laughs> all right. Uh, anyway, we will be. We'll definitely be. Uh, yeah, keeping you all up on uh, what when those classes are and when they'll be available. And I know I asked the other day, and people seemed really excited about um, maybe doing some workshops that were more in depth uh, into the stuff that we talked about in our um, on our Monday episodes because we kind of just like whoosh, we kind of like whoosh yeah. through them um to get them to yeah get we them can by, but. go more in depth yeah. so thank you everyone for joining us oh i'm distracted by the chat right now no some people oh, are saying yeah, that yeah. they like the um they were fine with the ads because it was um uh it helps support us, and it's not something that you really have to cool. have to do, I guess. Yeah, we've opted um, against anything showing up during it, or you know, anything like that. It's true. Oh yes, you have taken class from me, me big chick, <laughs> and Marilyn. I've oh, taken goodness. classes from Flynn too. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 excited to to see what that's going to bring. That'll be that'll be very interesting. So. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, and one more thing. Sorry, oh, if you so want to, um, if you want to send something to our PO box, which you should clearly send it there and not to our porch. I know it's um, it's safe. It's an inside facility. Yeah. So uh, that's Flynn and Richard, PO, PO box, box one one five one seven, Oakland, California nine four six one one. You can send uh, that there. We will be going to 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 check that out. Oh, we were um, in harmony at the end there. I know. And um, we are. And keep your eyes open because I am gonna have um, uh, instructions for my micro movie theater for sale soon, oh, yeah. which I'm really, really excited about. I'm like so close to being done with that. Uh, and maybe even one of my other bigger things, but we'll, we'll see. see. Many yeah. things in the works. All right, everybody. I hope you have a really great day. Don't forget to uh, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Oh, yeah, wear your mask. Bye.